here at Florham Park, and I'm now joined by our NFL insider, Ralph Fakian. And Ralph, for the second straight week, the Jets have held a joint practice. This week, they're at their home facility with the Philadelphia Eagles, and they lose another key guy. But it doesn't look it's going to be season-ending. Yeah, so far this is not the carnage that they experienced in Green Bay, but Mekhi Becton, their left tackle, did leave practice early. He had a head-to-head collision. According to Robert Sala, it was precautionary. You never know with a head injury. That's what they're evaluating him for. So you know, maybe you can miss a couple of days. doesn't seem like it's anything too long, but they are going to take a look at him. Also, Brandon Eccles, their impressive rookie cornerback, fell on his hip late in practice. So two more players, <laughs> but at least at the moment, it doesn't seem to be as serious as what happened in Green Bay. But Coach did say it kind of felt a little like Christmas today because he got his two rookies back. He got Elijah Vera Tucker back, and he got Elijah Moore back. Yes, having Elijah Moore back is big. You know, we haven't seen him yet in the preseason. Obviously, in training camp, he's been terrific. He had a couple of nice catches in these practices that thrilled the crowd that was here. So that was good to see. And getting Elijah Vera Tucker back, it's it's a big deal because, you know, we couldn't see it for a long time because Becton went down. But this offensive line has not been very good for the last few weeks. They struggled up in Green Bay. They struggled again against the Philadelphia Eagles here. Uh, you know, so they're not getting the time together as a five-man unit. Hopefully, Becton comes back quickly and they get that, but getting Vera Tucker back, that's a big step in the right direction. And another guy, let's go to the defensive side, that's back to take more, is Quinnen Williams. He looks good. He looks like he's getting more comfortable and looks like this is exactly what this defense needs right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You wouldn't know that he had missed time by looking at him in his few snaps that he was able to take. And look, after losing Carl Lawson, the more guys they can get healthy that can actually rush the passer, the better. And they were they were counting on big things from Quinn Williams before Carl Carlos got hurt. Now they really need him to be a presence in the middle. So getting him back from his injury, it's uh, you know, like Robert Sala said, it's like Christmas. It is a big deal. <laughs> well, and Ralph, I know you weren't in Green Bay, but it was blazing hot there. It's just as hot here. Yeah, it's Another hot day <laughs> here at Florham Park. For Ralph Alciano, I'm Janae Coakley.